now tuned into the DFPN, the Dat Villain Podcast Network. Welcome to the smoke pit. It's Friday night, come and take a load off. Come sit in the smoke pit, it's time for us to show off. It's been a long week, come relaxing, get some lapsing, and let's talk about these brackets. And while we at it, tell me whose man's is this? Cause I got questions, I'm hoping you can answer it. Get ready, cause you know we gon' talk a lot of shit. It's Mac and Mac, welcome to the smoke pit. Yo, 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 what up, everybody? Y'all already know what TF is going on over here. It's the homie Mac, a.k.a. your boy. Welcome to the start of your weekend, hopefully. Uh, hopefully nobody has no weekend shifts, but if you do, uh, hopefully we can get you into the weekend feeling good with a couple laughs and some good conversation. Uh, something's different. I'm by myself. You don't see my partner in crime, Black Mac, up here. As y'all know, he, uh, he just uh, moved his family from California over to Texas. They're trying to set up their whole ranch, they mansion and stuff they got over there. So he's going to be out another week. But uh, come next week, we should be back to full strength, everybody here. What we didn't want to do is leave y'all without a podcast for a couple of weeks. So your boy is here. Um, and uh, hopefully we get a good a, a good thing. I got a special guest to come in and help co-host. So it's not going to be me by myself. So y'all don't have to worry about listening to me drone on and drone on and drone on. We're going to have some good conversations up here. But as always, remember, welcome to the Smoke Pit. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff to be notified of all our when we go live, be a part of all the shenanigans. Big shout out to our sponsor, Plug Earbuds at gettheplugs.com. Check them out for your wireless earbuds. Uh, we got the Dad Feeling Bandcamp, the music side of the DFPN. Um, a lot of new music just dropped out there. You can subscribe for as low as three bucks a month to get exclusive music that they're not putting out on Amazon, Apple, google all that other stuff so make sure to check them out show some love to the bros over there uh we got the patreon obviously where you're going to get some bonus content um we just had a meeting the other day the dfp and fam we got some good stuff cooking so um as low as three bucks a month you can get in on the action and then at the end of this month we're going to be doing our patreon raffle right so if you're a member of the patreon um you'll be entered in to win that hundred dollar giveaway so uh you want some free cash i'm just saying it's there for you it's there for you. All you got to do is just sign up. And then, of course, the Teespring, um, the merch for all the shows that are on the DFPN. Um, we appreciate those who have recently ordered. Uh, since the start of March, uh, orders have spiked up um, looking at the uh, analytics. And it, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So whoever is out there ordering the merch, we appreciate it. We appreciate your support. Hopefully you guys like the merch. And if you get it and something's wrong with it, let us know. I know... Uh, we had one pit master hit me up. They got the uh, the item. There was a hole in it. Uh, they were like, "It's cool. We can sew it up and close it." Nah, man, the brand got you. We're gonna send you another another one out there. So in a different color. So if you do fix the one you got, now you got two. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just let us know what's going on, man, because we really appreciate you guys supporting us, man, and we, and we really want to make sure you're getting your money's worth when it comes to us. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen. I bring to you a friend of the podcast, uh, a, a up and coming podcaster himself. He and his homie, uh, his bro, pretty much, uh, they got something good going on. Uh, I bring to you none other than one half of the Saturday Night Podcast crew, Saturday Night Nerds podcast crew. Let me get that right. Uh, the homie, Deontay the Giant, my man, what's good with you, bro? Not much, man. Just living the dream. Blessed and highly favored. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I got this new microphone, new headset. You sound great. Uh, I, de I definitely got to get, get active on these links that you've been putting out and all that so I can um, get some merch sent out and then have some kids like post uh, pictures with the shirts and everything, get some promotion going, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Hey, you already know I'm on it, man. You already know I'm on it. I got to uh, get back in there and order me some more merch. The summer's coming, so I'm going to need some T-shirts and some tank tops and whatnot because it'd be hot here in Arizona, my dude. Oh, um, I swear. So before we even get into it, say, go ahead, man. Oh, uh, oh, no, you good. You good. Yeah. Um, 
yeah so shout out to you and the homie uh will you guys went ahead and hit 400 uh members in your group uh and ladies and gentlemen let me tell you that's that's not an easy thing to do when your group is private because not everybody's gonna see it off rip so it's a lot of word of mouth a lot of people believing in what you're doing letting their friends come in and and uh shout out to the uh uh the nerd homie uh Kimpachi, man he, he he went on a recruiting spree and brought like about 12 15 people in there man so 400 people man how's it feel 400 members oh. It feels great. It definitely feels great. Uh, we definitely have to celebrate that one way or another. I'm thinking like episode four, we'll probably do a shout out to uh, the smoke pit for sure. Cause we got most of our members from there. Uh, a, lo a lot of people that I used to work with in the air force that didn't know SNM was a thing. Uh, we definitely got to get them in the building and whatnot. Uh, it it's been two years in the making and I'm definitely glad that we've had some people to come through and, uh, make themselves at home in the group. Like, I'm definitely, I'm definitely yeah, proud man. of how far we came. Yeah, it's 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 a great thing to see, man. Because, like I said, we we were talking offline. Like, I think after episode three of Saturday Night Nerds, like it, it's it's a grind, and there's times where you're just like, bro, I don't I don't know if anybody really fucking with us and shit. And then like you just stay at it, and then slowly but surely, man, you just you just appreciate the grind and the climb, man, and yep it's a good thing bro it's a really good thing man i'm i sit back and i look at y'all and then i cheese man i'm happy for y'all yeah. bro it's a beautiful thing beautiful yeah thing. i definitely appreciate y'all man definitely like i'm uh, very grateful no worries man uh, and you guys give us an outlet to do all our nerd shit man like i know we we dabble on it a little bit in the smoke pit but like we really get into it over there man so if y'all are in the comics anime uh uh just the movies uh manga just anything nerd culture anything that used to not be cool before now you know what i'm saying used to get teased about back in the day this shit's Man. cool now all of that shit all of that shit over there in uh saturday night nerds group and uh we'll let you plug it towards the end and of course we'll throw the link to the group in here as well if there's any pit masters that haven't heard about it yet which i doubt but you know you, you it don't hurt it don't hurt to put it back out there absolutely uh shout out to everybody who's tuned in uh watching the show uh please share this because uh we want to get into this first topic and i'm glad you're here because you're the one that brought it to everybody's attention uh with the initial post and the smoke pit um so the first thing uh and and just be advised people um the comments for this post that he put in there he didn't mean any ill will he was just trying to get people's point of view actually what the group is made for um people may disagree back and forth about the thing we're about to talk about but let's just be adults with how we do it in the comments and whatnot um but of course the first thing you know we got to talk about is what everybody is up in arms about uh leah thomas and the fiasco the situation the the media storm everything surrounding her and her win i think a few days ago i think eight days ago um so if you've been under a rock or just not watching TV or, you know, on a sabbatical somewhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Penn swimmer, uh, Pennsylvania swimmer, Leah Thomas, uh, who was born, I, I believe William Thomas, uh, went through the, the transgender uh, operation, the, the, the procedure and everything, um, and is now competing as a woman and the woman collegiate uh, swimming is uh, the first transgender athlete to win a division one national championship. And what she won was the 500 yard freestyle last Thursday night to become the first known transgender athlete to win a division one national championship in any sport. Um, she finished 1.75 seconds ahead of second place. Emma, uh, I wanna say Wayant, uh, who attends Virginia. Um, so Thomas's time, however, was a season best for her and nine seconds off Katie Ledecky's world record time of four minutes, 24 seconds, 24, four minutes, 24.06 seconds. Right. Um, so off the bat, she wins that and everybody is like, of course she wins because she was born a male. Like she has the physical advantage and everything. 
so that creates a firestorm this isn't fair to the girls that are swimming all of that stuff right um so then she competes in the 200 yard freestyle at the ncaa championships and comes in fifth place um who swam it who swam the 200 yard freestyle in one minute 43 seconds or one minute 43 seconds and the winner uh taylor ruck from stanford and a canadian olympian swam it in one minute or i guess that's one minute one minute and 41 seconds um so she lost that one and then i believe she might have lost another one i i I didn't check all of her events at that uh championship meet but so she wins one she loses one by coming in fifth now she loses that and people are saying she lost it on purpose because she didn't want more smoke from the world saying you're winning again right so they're just saying that she threw the race essentially last but not least and then then we'll get your thoughts on it and uh we'll go to the pit masters as well all of this fiasco you have caitlin jenner coming out uh famous uh for her achievements when she was bruce jenner in the olympics uh decathlete winning all of that stuff was married to chris jenner keeping up with the kardashians all that stuff that's her fame now she is caitlin jenner she is upset saying that it's not fair for uh leah to be competing in women's uh uh events collegiate events and then the governor of florida decides to come out and sign a proclamation saying that Florida is not going to recognize her win. And they're going to say that a uh, Florida resident and Virginia athlete who came in second is the real winner. And uh, what did he say? Quotes, they are crowning somebody else the women's champion. And we think it's wrong. They are putting an, uh, I, they are putting ideology ahead of opportunity for women athletes. Yeah. And I think that they are just some people that are afraid to speak out and say what they are doing, but that is what they're doing. And the media has asked the NCAA for a comment and they did not respond. So all of this stuff going on, Deontay, uh, what's your thoughts, man? How do you feel about it? Yeah, it's definitely, uh, when I first logged into Facebook to, to see this post, the, the, right after all i saw was a bunch of memes like clowning leah and it's and it's just like yo this is a little bit harsh um i didn't know people followed college swimming that that deep and uh they felt so strongly about uh, leah's presence in the in the uh the swimming uh i understand that she she's got pronouns and someone educated me on that and like uh their co the community doesn't want to address Leah by uh, the name William, because that was the name before the, the transition. And I, I totally understand that now. Uh, when she, when Leah was in the men's swimming, uh, that I, I believe it was 452nd was, was the place that uh, she was in. Uh, and that from from a man's perspective that competing against other men that, that look that looks like average mid-grade and all that and then but if you consider coming over to the women's side she she has like a lot of experience a lot of intense training she probably uh went through and all, all that carried over and, and it's kind of like I, i'm one of the people that's just like i i'm not offended by it by that but it, it, it is it, it is a little bit um uncomfortable knowing that uh all that experience came over if it's one thing that you transition from one sex to another and you wanted to try out and compete in a, in a sport with the uh the gender that you want to compete against that's one thing that's one thing but if you come over from another professional sport and compete uh, you, it's a whole different level of experience that you're bringing with you. So that's that's the one thing that I could get um, what they call that uh, backlash for because that's that's just my opinion on it. Yeah. But I, out of pure love and respect, I, I I'm glad Leah got her dub and all that. I, I think it could have been I, I think it could have been handled differently though. Um, mm. Now, 
what do you think about people saying that she threw the 200 freestyle to to come in fifth do you think that is something that she probably did or you think because here's where i'm at with that everybody's up in arms oh she's she's taking away opportunities from from cisgender women right um mm -hmm. so now she comes in fifth four cisgender women beat her in the 200 yard freestyle or 200 meter freestyle whatever they call it um so now are we sitting here acting like are because by saying she threw the race you are taking away the the same thing governor DeSantis is saying how we're stealing the accomplishments from cisgender women here are cisgender women beating Leah right four mm -hmm. of them beat Leah and uh <laughs> and and now we're saying oh she did that on purpose she threw the race so how do you think that makes these women feel you know it, it probably makes them feel shitty like hey we won the race nah you only won because Leah let y'all win you know like that's kind yeah. of fucked up it's do like you think that's something that Leah probably did uh I'm I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt and say she didn't throw it because it, it it's it's one thing to assume that she didn't uh, throw the match and then it's another thing to assume that she did because then you go back yeah. to the the race where she came in first place and, and all that she beat two olympic silver medalists and uh people were like oh it's because the way her body's made up and, and i don't specifically think it's her it's her body makeup because you can you you could be a, a full-grown man and still get um outdone if by a woman if if, if it, uh the right training and right experience applies so i i wouldn't go with that assumption that she threw the match unless she came out and said it herself you know, i mm -hmm. i think she she went up against uh some hard-working athletes and, and got beat out and also another reason mm -hmm. why i wouldn't say she uh threw the match is because uh like the, if her if her experience is is what got her to where she's at now like she won that first place match uh i i was i would say maybe better experience better talent is what beat her the second time around and uh i wouldn't blame it on the fact that she used to be a dude uh i would blame it on the fact that even though she had experience competing against men and came over to, to compete against women and still lost, like mm -hmm. it, I get this fair game mm -hmm. for me. I, I I'll, I'll take it. Um, yeah. Um. Initially, like when you posted it, I was looking at it and I was just like, uh, like the the NCA is is a mess across the board, right? They they make absolutely. billions and billions of dollars on these on these student athletes and they keep student athlete student first but they're they're getting billions and billions of dollars um they're just now letting players in some states earn money for their likeness um so i mean they they got things to work out and i like i'm pretty sure nobody was back in the day expecting or or projecting that something like this would happen transgender uh, athletes competing in events uh, for the gender that they weren't biologically born as, right? Um, right. So uh, Leah comes over. Uh, I think their stipulation was you have to be on uh, hormone blocking, uh, you know, medication or whatever for at least a year before they let you compete uh, in in women's sport. This is for for men transgender uh, going through and transitioning to to be women. Um, so Leah was on these blockers for two and a half years. So two and a half times longer than what he, uh, she was supposed to be. So according to the NCAA, she is meeting the criteria, right? This happens, right? So now the world is looking at the NCAA who hasn't responded. I don't, I don't think they have. I was trying to look to see if they had said anything. They haven't. Um, now they got to sit here and look at it from what do they do because the ball's in their court it's it's they're mm -hmm. they're the governing body for all collegiate uh, athletics um DeSantis can say what he wants but in the NCAA record books is going to show Leah Thomas um 
and and that's what it is. So now the ball is in the NCAA's court. Um, I I think they are in damage control, which is why they haven't said anything. They're trying to figure out a way because at this point it's a catch twenty two for them in my eyes. Um, because I feel, and I think I was talking to somebody in the the smoke pit, uh, the the fan group. Um, they're probably scared of whatever backlash they get if they do anything as far as take this away from from her right which i don't think they right. should do but if they do that bro they're they're fucking done you know like yeah. everybody's coming for them right um if they let this ride then certain people um media outlets and stuff they're going to consider and be like well now watch all these sub sub average male athletes who who aren't going to get bids for olympic teams and such go through this pro which i hear hear me out yeah. the dedication one person will have to have to be like i need to make it as a swimmer to go through the whole process of changing your sex from one to another is extreme as fuck mm -hmm. <laughs> just yeah instead of just training and 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 training and getting better being like damn i can't cut it as this well let me go through the, all these operations and tell you know and all of this stuff just so i can win a, a meet at the ncaa championship you know what i'm saying because as right. far as olympic teams like her times are not olympic times you know what i'm saying like right she was nine seconds slower than the world record she got beat out by four cisgender women in the 200 you know like it's not like she's out there breaking like shattering records you know she right. she barely won the race she won by, like less than two seconds you know absolutely so that's why in my mind in my mind that wasn't the move that william who is now leah had made like it wasn't her decision when she was william as damn i'm losing these races i can't win nothing let me go be a woman and i can win all of this stuff you know what i'm yeah. saying like right like what's your thoughts man like it i i, I wish i they give us a like a full-blown interview with uh leah to to see where her mindset was at when when all of this was happening because I, I would genuinely like to know like did she truly feel like the only way to make it in, in uh sports is to is to uh change genders and uh compete because uh, under under that guys it, it's it's like she it's like she saw women cisgender women as inferior and i don't, I don't think i don't think she right. look look at cisgender women like that like it like yo if i if i go compete against women I, i'll do so much better than i am with men because and it's just like, oh, that's a that's a terrible thing to say. Um, like, if you if you wanted to change genders because it's an identity thing for you, and like this is it, like right. I'm, I'm all for it. Like, I'm I'm trying to be the best ally I can and supporting uh, your choices and all that. It may not be my business, but I still I'm still in y'all's corner. Um, I, I just I want to I want to know where Leah's head was at when she went through with this transition because. It's kind of late in her career, and and it's like, um, if you weren't doing numbers over in men swimming, it then right. what's the point? Is what's the point? Because you can you can easily work harder and 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 beat men and do better numbers, but if there's something yeah. about your body composition that that won't allow you to beat men, then uh, you, maybe swimming just just ain't it but I don't, I don't i don't want to be rude by saying that but I, I i don't i don't understand where her head was at when she went through with this yeah um i'm gonna yeah i give her the benefit of the doubt as far as yeah. i feel it was an identity thing like because i don't mm -hmm. know you know because that that that's a lot of stuff happening to your body and you're just doing that for a ncaa you know title mm -hmm. you know and at and in the next step because there's no professional swim league there's not like an nba or nfl for swimming the next step is like you try for the olympic team and the times you're putting up that leah is putting up aren't comparable to these you know women olympic swimmers that are that are crushing these times so right 
you know, like if if that if for those who think that she probably made this change just to excel in life, um, this ain't the acceleration that 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 I would look at and see. Now, if she was out here crushing times and and all of this other stuff, then yeah, I'd, I'd I would I would probably slightly be like, this could be a move that a lot of people would make. Like if there is a lucrative lifestyle, i.e., like when people you know, take steroids and baseball, they, they hit better and all this other shit, right? They get endorsements, they get all this other stuff, right? Cool. Um, but I don't see that for swimming because there's no real move to make except the Olympics. And like we talked, her times ain't Olympic times, you know? At all. Um, now looking at, oh, we had a question uh, from uh, one of the, the pit masters. He asked, do we think it would be different if it was like different sport? And I think we have that's actually a thing in the Olympics now because we got uh, Casamayor. I forget. I think she's like South. She represents South Africa or something. Yeah. And there was a the whole thing about that. Like her testosterone levels were high and, and all of this other stuff. You're really a dude trying to race these women to, to get these records and stuff like that. Now in the NCAA, um, say this was the exact same thing, but instead of swimming, it was the NCAA track, right? She wins the 400, but loses the 200. Um, like, would you think there is a, uh, would the situation be different or would the outcry still be the same? For me, the first thing that came to mind was basketball. Cause it's just like, you complete, like we talking professional basketball and you competing in the WNBA or actually I'll put mm -hmm. this, you compete in the NBA and, you, and you're a mm -hmm. grizzled veteran, a grizzled veteran. And it's just like, right. If your mindset was like I'm not doing well, I'm on I'm on a team that doesn't work well with me, and I just cannot compete with other uh, male uh, basketball players. Uh, I I think I I'll, I'll, I'll make an extra come up if I switch over to the WNBA. Like that that's definitely a that's definitely got to be a mindset thing because if you're that knee deep, like you've probably gotten at least one ring one championship ring and you and you now want to go over to the wma to compete with women so you can get more like it, that mm -hmm. that's not a good look but uh if if it's like you you've been bugged your whole life with your identity situation and it's just and, and timing is just a coincidence then uh i i can i can understand going through a transition and um you love basketball so you want to stay in basketball so uh the best choice for you is just to go over to the WNBA like that, that that's that's totally understandable uh right because the odds of you getting another championship ring isn't isn't gonna skyrocket if you if you transition uh it depends on who your team is who your teammates are and what the chemistry is uh you, you have a lot to consider basketball is a team sport but if you a, a male assigned at birth you will have a little advantage, especially bringing over that that NBA experience. But I don't, I don't think it would be that significant that people should lose their mind over it. Um, I, I, I think if it's an identity thing, we should excuse it, and then uh, and think about uh, other sports and, and what what would that mean if there's like a female counterpart part to that sport and uh athletes want to switch over because of identity instead of just trying to get more accolades right that's that's what that's why i, I I'm, I'm looking at it yeah um so yeah we got a question uh i'm guess i guess uh, they say i guess i'm thinking does biology matter more depending on what sport it is i, I feel it does because like even even cisgender males like they all they all play like Shaq biologically, genetically was made different than other centers that were playing the game at his time. And he was dominating them like ridiculously. So biology does matter. Um, like genetics, all that stuff. Um, so if, you know, I'm gonna just, who, who's out there? Aaron Donald, you know, the, the, the best mm -hmm. defensive player in the NFL right now, he transitions over and he wants to play in whatever the pro women's football tackle football is um he'll take his 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 medication whatever he got to do gets his his testosterone down his estrogen up same level as as, as a cisgender woman um 
if he's still, you know, six five, six six, whatever, you know, going up against five five, five eight women, you know, he's she, you know, like it, it it'll be an advantage for for him. You know, right. like so it matters. I'm not gonna say it doesn't matter. My thing is, and I think some other people are saying it, like when it comes to transgender uh athletes, um mm-hmm. When they make the the transition over, people are saying give them their own category, and I would see that if there was more of them, you know, because I don't know how many they are in in there in in the NCAA. Um, I don't know how competitive, you know what I'm saying, all of that stuff. Exactly. And if you if you want to get into it, like when you start talking pro sports, like your NBA example, the least talented member in the nba is making way more than the most superstar person in the wnba so and i think that's what comes into play too like women athletics don't get the shine that men athletics do that's why and and this sounds like an asshole type thing to say i really don't follow a lot of women collegiate sports you know like when it comes to basketball i watch the men's when it comes to track and field if it's on i watch you know what i'm saying like you know, I'll right. dabble in, in the women's during track and field too. But um, like it's men's college sports that dominate the airplay. Like men's college basketball will be on all the networks. The women's will be on ESPN too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The lesser of the ESPN networks. So that's a, that's a bigger uh, problem that the world is facing. You know the the and and I can break it down and be like, men's sports generate more because it's more entertaining the physical feats that they do like you watch the nba you see john morant jump over three dudes and dunk Mm -hmm. the fucking basketball i'm like shit you know i watch the wnba and they do a bounce pass and you know behind the back pass and a layup you know i'm like that's cute you know it's not not taking anything away you know not to take anything away from them because the the whole thing of, of men are just better than women it's men who train in a certain sport that are probably physically more gifted than the women that train in that sport, right? Mm-hmm. Like if you just take me off the street and you put me up against, you know, Sue Bird in the WNBA, Sue Bird would probably run circles around me, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, and, man. And, and I consider myself a decent hooper for my age. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. But it's it's because they are training and their their bodies are being trained and they're running plays and and like that's their life basketball mine isn't so you just can't get a random dude that's why i'm looking at these comments and i'm just like let me just get a random dude who's in here trying to troll this person be like you get in the water then and you swim with all the women that 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 leah beat and then you beat them and be like i beat them because i'm a man right you can't right it takes training and it takes all of that stuff um so getting to getting to DeSantis, making that that proclamation, um, what did you think about that? Like him just stepping out, being like, "Florida's not recognizing this person." As I was like, that was that was some ballsy stuff to say because he could easily get in some serious trouble for that. But I, I, if I know one thing about Florida, they stand behind their dudes. They <laughs> in politics, they. He was like, yeah, well, he said he spoke for the rest of us. And we're like, oh, oh, damn. The rest of the United States mm-hmm. might not agree, but uh, the, the Santos, he was just like, you know what? Screw the NCAA. I don't give a flying fuck what they talking about over there. We got a shorty from our state. She won. She get the dub, and we don't acknowledge no man. And he 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 didn't have to say that, but he that's basically how he felt, and he expressed himself. And it's And it's just like, he, he he's going to have to debate that next time somebody runs against him uh, for that office, and it's just I did, he set himself up for trouble. Um, I, I I just wouldn't use my platform to say nothing crazy like that because you got an issue with the NCAA, I'd take it straight to them. Because uh, mm-hmm. what, what what is Florida? Florida's like a Republican state. Uh, yeah, I cannot right. remember. Yeah, it's, I, it's so I, I can I can understand certain ideologies that uh, that line up with the way a Florida representative uh, see things, and they 
everybody would be like, "For all right, yeah, yeah." The, the governor of Florida is totally correct for the the choice he made, and uh, where everybody else is just like, "Dude, it, you, you don't have no pool in this conversation. You don't. You don't even have a hat in this race, bro. You can't even." How, why would you? Why would you talk about how Leah didn't get the dub that she deserves, and then, um, and then just call out the NCAA saying like, uh, "Our girl got the our girl got the medal." I don't care what you say. We're giving it to her. He's like, I, I get you trying to right. show love, but you're also doing it at someone else's expense, and it, yeah. I, I, something just ain't right about it. Something ain't, something just ain't right. Yeah. I feel some way, but uh, Black Black just jumped in here real quick, so I'm gonna bring him in. He said he had some thoughts. So, what up, my guy? What's going on, Black? Uh oh. Oh, he back. Hey, you hear? My bad. Was uh, yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Uh, thanks for jumping in here, man. Uh, I, I I see you in the comments. How you feel about the whole situation, bro? uh first and foremost bro um what she did what that girl did not a lot of dudes could do you know what i mean so the fact that she was even doing these things mm -hmm. and she didn't even win now it, it'd be a whole different issue if she won you know what i mean but she didn't even win so the fact that she, she was out there doing one. it uh she won the 500 she won it right. by less than two seconds and then she but still she lost it's competitive. The when she came in right yeah yeah it's competitive right. so it's not like she's out here dominating you know what i mean so you gotta let her be man like shit. and i i've said this i said this to the to the uh snn crew in the chat the other day so like you have these instances to where like you don't want um you don't want like uh a transsexual person playing in a sport that you don't think is meant for them. But you have instances where like my daughter, she played football. You know what I mean? Like she was out there on the football field with dudes. You know what I mean? So I had to hear every fucking week, like a girl shouldn't be playing football with guys. You know what I mean? Until, until she was out there pancaking motherfuckers. Then it became you shouldn't let my you shouldn't let that girl be pushing my son like that. Nah, nah, she wasn't supposed to be out here. You know what I mean? But I mean, in any in any sport, like it's it's gonna be that. You know what I mean? It's gonna be that hate. But you gotta you gotta learn to tune that shit out, bro. Like it is what it is. Like she decided that she wanted to be a girl. She's a girl. You know what I mean? Like her body mass changed drastically from when she was a boy. And a lot of people don't understand that part of the shit either. Like her body mass has changed. Yeah, she was a boy, but the shit she took to make her a girl like dramatically changed shit in her body. You know what I mean? Like it's not like it's not like, you know what I mean? She still has a dick and shit. You know what I mean? Like and she's it's out there like fucking over. When, when people, yeah, when people look at uh, contact sports, MMA, boxing, when somebody mm -hmm. cuts weight, right? Like, they're right. automatically assumed to to not be ready for that fight, you know, or or at a disadvantage because the changes in their body, you know, like their body's not naturally this weight, all of the sudden. Right. Stuff. So getting a whole sex change is that times like a thousand. You know what I'm right. saying? Like it's 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 you're blocking testosterone that goes to your muscles and stuff estrogen's coming in breaking down your muscles you know all this stuff you're trying to continue to train all of, like i know it was hell all of this stuff that she went through to try to get ready and all of this stuff she's been out for two and a half, yeah. taking the meds but um so me me and deontay talked um so she wins that one the outcry comes out you know people are just like used to be a dude she's gonna win these races transitions wins that race loses the next one comes in fifth everybody's like oh well now she's throwing races you know so like in, in your mind where is it at like you it's the same 100%. shit no it's the same shit uh they did to that russian girl that they accused of taking steroids the pressure bro the pressure is there because now right. you have a whole you have a whole slew of people 
And now you have to perform. You have a whole slew of people talking about you. Like, pretty much saying, like, you shouldn't be doing this shit. You go out there and do the shit. And I can only imagine she's gotten death threats. So now you got to compete with death threats on your brain. Like, the pressure's there, man. Like, you, you're not going to be the same person. I'm sorry. But if a motherfucker tell me if I win this fight, they going to kill my ass. You know what I mean? Like, you win this race, we're going to fucking kill you, bro. Like, all right. Like, I'm going to try to win, but shit, I ain't going to be happy if I lose neither. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't going to be happy. So, whatever. That That is a mountain of pressure to perform under. Yeah, I, I go out like a G. I, I, if you say, hey, I'll, we'll kill you if you if you win this match. You're like, fuck it. I'm going to die about this shit, motherfucker. I'm, I'm going to get my gold match. medal. Take me out. <laughs> Turn me to a martyr, motherfucker. Turn me to a right. They'll make a statue and for me. I think more. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm with you. Like, I know she's probably going through some stuff now. Um, but like, if we can, whenever she's ready to sit down and kind of, kind of let people know what she doesn't have to do. She don't owe us no explanation. She don't owe us shit, right? She don't. She don't owe nobody nothing. But if she right. want, if she sat down, talked to people, and let people know the things she's going through and stuff. Um, I think that would help a lot of people understand more, um, more than you know, some closed-minded people just assuming this girl used to be yeah. a dude who's better at sports than women, so of course she's gonna win everything. And then when she loses, oh, she just threw that race because she doesn't want people to think that she's dominating. Like it's a lose-lose. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So right. Like, you either you either mad because she took an opportunity from a cisgender woman in the 500 and then now you've taken away the accomplishments of the four cisgender women that beat her in the 200 by saying oh you right. only won because right. the man quote unquote this man girl let you win I mean it's not like it's a Joanna man thing where you're a full blown dude acting like right that. exactly like this person went through all like bro I, I took some L's in my life in sports and never in my life was just like let me do this sex change so I can just be a beast in the women's game. You know, it's Got never. Him. You know never what I mean? Crossed my mind. Got him. Like Got I don't, him. I don't know any any male athlete that is willing to do that just Hell to get no. ahead in the women's. Hell, no. Hell no. No loss just, is ever gonna make me say I want to be a girl so I can come back and beat the fuck out of y'all. Nothing. That's that's at all. That's a mountain of ego. <laughs> it's a mountain of ego. Yeah. Because if anything, uh, yeah. that'd just make me go train harder and try to get better. So next time I see that team or see that dude that that gave me the L the first time, you know, I just I just do better. You know, like that. That's my motivation to get better, not to just you would think I'm gonna run and just go. Yeah. So I mean, it it has to be. Here's where I'm at. It was I, I, an identity thing for Leah. She was like, I see myself as a, as a feel like I'm a woman. I need to, I need to just be true to myself, go do what I need to do. And she did. She, she followed the rules of the NCAA. So again, it's more like NCAA, what's, what's, what you doing? You, you, you got to make a call here or just come out and say, we stand our ground. She met our requirements. She can, you know, compete with female athletes and she won. And that's where we at, you know. Right. Um, and then we were talking about DeSantis. So what, what are your thoughts on that, by the way? I don't know if you heard us talking about it. I didn't hear what was going on with DeSantis. So um, the person that she beat in the 500 uh, is a mm. student that goes to Virginia, but she's a Florida resident. So DeSantis, the governor of Florida, comes out and makes a proclamation. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen this shit. A governor just coming out being like, we, the state of Florida, do not recognize her as the winner of that race. The real winner is, you know, uh, let me see. Let me let me get her name because I don't want to keep calling her the girl from Virginia. Uh, Emma. <laughs> he, he, he really Emma, came Emma out Wyant. Wyant. Wow. Uh, so Emma Wyant. Florida resident. She's just like, we're going to recognize her as the winner in the state of Florida. 
So he just was like, I'm making a proclamation. Like, no votes, no nothing. He's just like, we in Florida, we ain't feeling that. Emma is the winner. Leah is not. I mean, you can do that shit, Florida, but you know what I mean? When 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 election season comes around, the rest of the country should be like, fuck Florida's votes. Because y'all be on some bullshit. Yeah. Every election season. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Because I was talking to somebody about this in, a, in another thing, and he's like, uh, you know, obviously this person was like, I agree with, with that because they're their upbringing or whatever, their ideology, they're just like, I feel this is a disadvantage. I have daughters. I don't want them to, you know, they're they're grinding. They're out here doing this. I don't want somebody who used to be a dude to come in and, and take their shine, right? So I'm just, you know, I don't want to have that argument because that's their mentality. I can't talk them out of believing that, right? Yeah, yeah. So then I'm just like, so I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's how you believe. So of course you're going to side with him because that's how you feel, right? My thing is, as a politician, you're supposed to represent your entire state. There was no vote. There was no discussion. There's probably people in your state who don't feel that way. And he was like, well, a majority, you know, Florida's traditionally a conservative state. Same yeah. mindset. I speak for so all I'm of pretty us. pretty sure they have no yeah. problem. <laughs> yeah. Which, which I'm just like, that's cool. It's cool if you're a conservative and he's a conservative. As he was running for governor, what was his stance on 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 transgenders? You know, like like as far as rights and 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 all that stuff. Like, did he run with any of that? Did he announce that in any of his policies? And no. then the reply was, no. But then again, I think because of all conservative, like like they're a monolith now. Is as he was talking. So I just let it go. I was just like, okay, that's all I need to hear. Um, mm -hmm. surely he does not speak for all conservatives, this person I was talking to, but I think this is a, a dangerous thing where an elected official just comes out and says, this is law, right? Cause the president that's can try to dangerous. say that. There's, yeah. That's highly yeah, dangerous. Cause the president can say something and there's checks and balances, right? He could come out and be like, I want this. And the Senate can be like, fuck out of here. Right. The house <laughs> can be like, fuck out of here. The Supreme Court could be like, bro, you finna go to jail if you keep fucking around with this shit. Like, shit, like, I don't think governors have that. Or, no. or I don't know if anybody was in this man's ear, like, bro, you calm do down. Shit, like, bro. it's, it's no, cool you if you right. feel that way. If yeah. you feel that way, Ron, that's cool. Don't bring us keep in. That, keep that Sign the proclamation, bro. Sign it. Sign that Sign shit. and post it on Twitter and everything, bro. Like <laughs> with a, a official seal. This will and all this that will shit. get everybody going. Sign that shit, bro. Just do it. <laughs> this will get everybody going. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. That's crazy. Anyway. That that's yeah. I mean, unless anybody has any other thoughts on on the, the whole Leah thing. How I'm gonna end it is I'm going to give her her flowers. She won that first race. She took the L in the second race. You know, um, I don't think she's doing this to get a competitive edge in women's swimming. Because I, like I said, like if there was a very lucrative side to women's swimming, um, I mean, she'll probably get some publicity as 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 a, a, a trend set. You know, like like everybody was just on Caitlyn Jenner, you know, when, when she made that transition. She won like woman of the year and she was a woman, you know, after the, the surgery for like, the, the fourth quarter. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like somebody went in yep. NCO the quarter for the fourth quarter and then they went NCO the year. You just like, bro, how? When when this person won <laughs> NCO the quarter the first week. This motherfucker didn't do saying, shit till like, October, man. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> he, he knew. He knew when they get active. He was like, oh, I better start he doing He knew when they shit. get active. <laughs> Go ahead and volunteer and clap yeah. this damn class. Yep, yep. <laughs> Fiscal years ended. My work starts now. <laughs> yes. no, but but my final thoughts on this, and then 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 I'll get y'all thoughts. I, I feel she was being true to herself. She was like, "This is who I really am." Um, still loved swimming. Kept at it. Got in here. Won one, lost the other one. You know what I'm saying? And she's gonna keep it pushing. So that's my thoughts on it. What about you, uh, Deontay? Yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely proud of Leah, and I got bad respect for her at the end of the day. Uh, I, I, I think I think it's cool that we all like addressed her with the proper pronouns and all of that, because at first, I didn't know what to say, so I was just flying out the handles, like, 
uh, heard right. him and all that. And then I got my ignorance checked and I got I learned something new. So I definitely appreciate mm-hmm. the people that hopped in the comment section and make sure that I didn't get out of line because I, I got to do what right. I can to uh, support that community because they're, they're oppressed, just as oppressed minority that we are. So I, I, I want to like keep track of what she's doing as far as sports goes and, and hopefully like wish her the best for her career and then her competition, like they, they, they can bring that smoke, bring it. And right. I'm, I, that, that's all, that's all I got to say about it. Mm. What about you, Black? Uh, she has my utmost respect, man. Um, as as a person that 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 went through that change, like it takes incredible strength to even just live your life that way. You know what I mean? With the enormous amount of hate that you're gonna get, uh, just just being yourself. So to to put that energy into trying to be an athlete and be the best athlete that she could be, like she has nothing but my utmost respect because to to do that on a, on a public stage and be who you are and living your truth, that takes some real fucking strength that not a lot of people have. So I think, I think as a whole, we should really respect that shit because uh, there are people that face that kind of hate and it's hard for them to live their truth. So for her to be, on that stage and to be that strong to even keep going after all the hate like you have to respect that shit bro because not a lot of people can do that shit so let her let her live let her let her enjoy her moments man when she has them so she i'm rooting for her i I hope i hope she she gets back up there and does great things because that that takes strength so she has my respect 100 percent 100 percent damn but we almost went an hour in on that one bro <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad y'all Some did because i was like fuck i need to i need to find the space like i was literally i'm in a hotel right now so yeah. i'm literally i'm literally <laughs> in the laundry room of the hotel because <laughs> it's the only safe space right the now education <laughs> So I'm like, let me go find the space. Y'all keep talking about this shit so I can, keep, so I can find the space. <laughs> Loki, I thought you was I thought you was in your mansion somewhere, bro. I thought you was in the West no, Vegas not, of the Caitly Compton. No, I heard no the echo. I was like, well, they ain't got their and shit. Yeah, no, no. I'm I'm in the fucking laundry room right now. It's just it's nothing in here. But uh we don't move into that shit until next so we move in next Friday. So uh yeah bad bad all right for sure, for sure. um y'all ready to talk about the next topic uh because this was news to deontay i know we we dabbled about it a little bit uh black but um i think uh shout out to uh pitmaster rob gibbons who has been very active in the group appreciate him mm-hmm. and everything yeah. uh, he posted a video of the high school basketball game and as the camera was oh, following shit. one player on the wall were the words cotton picker pride and then on the back wall of the gym was a cotton plant and then the words cotton picker home of the cotton pickers side of it. um so yes uh, this i had to see if it was real and apparently 20 miles west of corpus christi texas lies the city of robstown in the robstown oh. early college high school it doesn't, they are it the doesn't home surprise of me Robstown. anymore. They are the home of the Robstown Cotton Pickers. So that is the actual mascot of the team. Um, <laughs> so the, the townspeople, obviously, there is outcry, right? Um, <laughs> so this article further reads, in the southern region of the state, the Cotton Pickers mascot is a symbol of pride that acknowledges the history and hard work of those who migrated across the border to make an honest living in America. So fourth generation Robstown and Robstown High School alumni, Bianca Pardo, says it's merely a label that is accurately portraying what your grandmother did. Um, To critics of the mascot, the nickname is an offensive downplaying of our country's painful history of slavery 
and the forced labor of enslaved Africans, Black, and Indigenous people. <laughs> Your face is fucking um, priceless. <laughs> who, Deontay? Yeah. Oh my God. I wanted that initial. Crisis. I wanted that initial shock factor, bro. It's normally I me. That I knew about it. So it's it's great to see your facial expressions. Ooh. Uh, Ooh, this is rough. <laughs> Ooh, ah, Lee, this is a team that Uncle Ruckus could be proud of, right here. <laughs> oh my God. Um. So in 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 Texas. Uh, numerous high schools have changed their mascots from like Indians, uh, you know, uh, like the rebels even changed theirs because of the 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 how it can be related to uh, the Confederate soldiers and stuff during the Civil War. Mm -hmm. um, like like high schools across the country are changing it because Confederate South. Um, it, it's. I'm trying to see something else in this thing. I'm trying to see. Um, so the dude who, because somebody also tweeted a football game where that was on the field and everything, right? Uh, one of the reporters for high school football. So he tweeted it. Somebody saw it. Then his tweet started blowing up. And he, small town, Rob's, Rob's town, this dude does high school sports. His tweets probably get no love. Now his shit is blowing up. He's just like, um, <laughs> what the? This fuck? tweet is blowing up. To be fair, most times I remember to just call them the. He's like, this tweet is blowing up. To be fair, most times I just call them the pickers. I agree, it's probably time for a name change. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Yeah, think? Yes. Damn. Imagine, just, an all, yes. imagine an all black team just goes to that school. And the parents are with them. You know oh. what I mean? Like, just imagine what that shit's like. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh no, somebody, somebody ain't Bertha coming that bitch and just walk in there and be like, "Girl, what the fuck they got going on up in here? Let's get, let's Ooh. get your ass out of here." Mm -mm. I imagine their team mascot just comes out just like a dude with like the big, <laughs> the big red lips and oh. Ooh, How the hell? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh no! Oh, ooh. come on the porch for supper, <laughs> niggas! Like, what the fuck is going on? He ever had some of Mammy's <laughs> Mammy's dumplings? Hey, Mammy! Hey, Mammy! Hey, ma Mammy's well, dumplings. Says, <laughs> article says that members of the community including alumni of the high school were furious to see negative comments people shared on social media against the name believing That's that the name carries a sense of, they believe the name carries a sense of pride and admiration for migrant workers who came from Mexico including her great grandfather uh, this is uh, Prado by the way um, the town was built on the back backs of labor force of a labor force of Hispanics that yeah you probably them. should have found some more wording for that shit Ooh. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> she says social media is trying to make it a black thing who believes that they're doing this for shock value uh, according to the census Robstown is 93.9% .9 Hispanic or Latino origin and only 0.2% black Afri listen up and only 0.2% black or African American now if you look at the tweet the video of this dude's tweet for the football team coming out and that video that rob posted in the group of the basketball team it's mostly black people on the yeah. team yeah that i see so i mean just still why can't y'all be the it, falcons why right y'all be the even falcons if, the farmers even if it's even you know, like, if it's a hispanic team to even shorten the name to Pickers is fucked up. That's fucked up. Whew. They're proud. Though. No matter how you slice the shit, it. it's fucked up. That's that's oh fucked up. Gosh. I don't know how you getting drafted. I don't know he getting drafted when you play on a team like that. I don't know. Bro, where'd you come from? Home of the Pickers. Hold on. Starting point guard. The school, <laughs> the school district officials. So the school district came to the defense of the town or the, the name 
saying Robstown's administration has not received commentary from parents due to neighboring school district's mascot controversy. So they're saying all these other schools changing their names. Nobody's coming to us saying change the name. To be a Robstown cotton picker exhibits a sense of pride. At this time, <laughs> Robstown will stay focused on the student needs as their priority. Hmm. Oh my God. Well, I'm they are doubling sure. down on this. Oh, yeah, yeah they are. I imagine somewhere in America, there's probably like a, a Georgeville spear chucker and in, in a whole <laughs> black team of them. I. I <laughs> I thought the I dark blowers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I wonder what that. I wonder what that. I wonder what music they come out to. Like that. That. That's the shit I worry about. Man, if if oh, I don't even want to have my imagination go to work. Like what? What the? All right, boys, take a lap. Oh, dueling banjo. <laughs> Dueling banjos, little tribal <laughs> drums. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. I'm trying to trying to find it. Oh, here we go. Let me uh, share screen here, so y'all can see the video that Rob posted. It. I mean, it was it was something. It was something wild, bro. It was super wild gives us a sense of pride <laughs> dignity <laughs> so is a tiktok video but uh i'm gonna play it so you see them coming down the court cotton picker pride cotton pickers and you see one like that maybe they're dark-skinned hispanic i don't know right um because i know they're they are you trying to say they're Hispanic like Dominican Hispanic. and shit? Ooh. Like, I know some, like, got some pretty dark skin, bro. Like, okay, he's probably Mexican, you know? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, even Oof. if, like, just just this, like, when as, as, it's, as it's going down the court, you're just reading cotton, picker, pick her eye, <laughs> right? Like, cotton, cotton who? Cotton who? Cotton, cotton pickers. pickers. And he hit, the, he hit him with the ooh wee too in front of the. the <laughs> he hit him the with front. the the tween tween. The yeah, tween behind the, step the back. He, look at that. <laughs> he traveled, you know, like oh, they throwing the ball out of bounds. You goddamn right, you throwing the ball out of bounds, trash ass team. <laughs> Fuck the school. <laughs> no, y'all get fouled every time you hit the paint. No I'm offense to these kids. They, I mean, yep. they, they just wanna they just wanna have fun. They just wanna play sports, you know? Yeah. Um mm -mm. You know, I, I'm just like, bro. Like <laughs> Coach, I'm getting a flag on one today. Oh it's happening. Let me see if there's if there's black kids on this other team who are probably here like we about to run the score up on these motherfuckers hard. You know, it doesn't look they, like it. If we they lose probably the they probably pickers. don't schedule. Any mm -hmm. any games in Dallas? They don't go to Houston for their games. Oh hell no! Hey, <laughs> I know one place in Dallas that they ain't going. <laughs> Ooh, Avoid uh, at all costs. They ain't hitting San Antonio. They ain't, hit, nope. they ain't hitting the urban areas. How about that? Mm -hmm. Let me just say they probably making sure they steer ain't, clear of districts. Houston. Never don't go to you. Robstown High School is avoided. So now that we got that out the way. Deontay the Giant. <laughs> Thoughts. The the they went through great lengths to to avoid getting that ass caught thus far. I got to give them that. They round of applause for people that that could dodge the scope. Could they? Keanu Reeves Matrix dodged several bullets. Like they they. It's 2022 and they just now getting caught. It, when was that school founded? That's what I want to know. 1912. Let me Google it. 1912? 19 so you had 110 years of, of, of cotton picking excellence? Oh, cotton picking pride. Cotton picking pride. We need a mascot with a giant. 
cotton picking excellence? Oh man, I just grabbed that one. I was like, oh, that's like, yeah, I'm a starting forward for uh, the Dallas, the Dallas Spooks. You, you know what, bro? Who's your principal? Give me his number real quick. We gotta talk. The school district, uh, they cool with this too. All right, I gotta talk to them as well. They, they, we need to have a congregation. And um, this got to change because if if it's not like okay to have Indians as a mascot, I don't know why Cotton Picker made it this far. <laughs> <laughs> like this music is automatic and shit. I'm sitting here trying to play this video back. I'm just like, like it's nobody's like, face. I mean, it's been 112, like you said, 110 years. Like these kids all like this whole town just knows their high school is the cotton picker so they're desensitized to it to an extent right oh man so, I mean, georgetown now here, here, <laughs> here's where i'm at uh black the the district doubled down nobody has made any formal complaints to them in the area to change the name all of the heat is coming from the outside they're saying, well, if everybody here is cool with it, why should we change it, right? Mm-hmm. Like students, parents, nobody's asking for them to change it because they they see Cotton Picker as this mm. is what our town was. Do you, do you feel they should change? Like, do you feel they should listen to the outside and just let the outside opinion force them to change the name of this school? That's a, that's a weird question because on one hand, if nobody within that town wants them to change then why change right but dog it's the cotton pickers bro like <laughs> that's, 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 your, that's your defense that's that's your argument your honor your honor they're the cotton pickers bro they the cotton pickers i, I just imagine a, i imagine a white judge like oh shit we, we oh. got away with this Oof. We got away with it. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh shit! Oh, no. That's bold as fuck, bro. That's bold. That's bold as fuck. Like can, them, them away games gotta be rough. Oh god! It gotta be rough. Like you, you can't play like more than twenty miles out of your radius, cause Ooh. dog Damn. football. Bitch, we trying to kill y'all. Basketball, you catching all the flagrant fouls. <laughs> Baseball, like somebody's throwing a pitch at you, bro. Like, ooh, we just yeah. out of spite. And then you wonder why everybody hates you because your fucking name, the Cotton Pickers. <laughs> She's like, imagine, ooh, they don't have no away games in February. They they canceled every away game in February. They, <laughs> Just a no go. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're supposed to be in a tournament right now, but uh, <laughs> for the culture, <laughs> bitch, we're kind of forever. Like, <laughs> y'all, y'all better not let them score. Oh oh, this, <laughs> this is for Nelson Mandela and his. 27 years fighting the oppression, bitch. Y'all better go out there and kill these kids. <laughs> so here's where I'm at. Rival. Here's Georgetown where I'm at. Jigaboos. <laughs> uh, like if if they got it, if they got a good historic story to back up Jigaboos, <laughs> let me hear. It. <laughs> Because here's where I'm at. Obviously, obviously, I want the name to be changed. Like, I feel, and, and it, like I said, I'm on the outside looking. Like, if, if I was around that town and my kids had to go to this school, you can best believe I'd be petitioning to get this name changed, right? Uh, they would be feeling pressure from at least one family in there. Um, I'm surprised yeah. they're not feeling pressure from the 0.02 black population of Robstown. How far yeah. is that from Corpus Christi again? Um, because there's a military base in Corpus Christi. Uh, it is 20 miles west of Corpus Christi. Yeah, that's fairly close. 
I'm I'm wondering if they they interacted with them at all. Like if you're going anywhere, you probably got to pass through there. So, mm -hmm. I mean, here's my thing: if they are proud that that town was established by mostly Hispanic workers who harvested cotton and made that town what it is, then okay. That is y'all. Not everybody has the same. It the, the meaning means something completely different outside of your town. When people leave your town to go to different places, um, they hand them that degree. It's gonna say something different. They, it's, it's, they, cotton yeah. Pickers, huh? yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it, it's. I'm proud of them for, and this sounds super weird. I'm proud of them for staying to their guns. Sticking right? to their guns, yeah. You I know like what y'all think it means, but it doesn't mean that to us. It yeah. doesn't mean that to us, and we're keeping it. Cool. It's just you can't blame everybody else for wilding for out on social media. It. Yeah, yeah. For being mad based on the the what what that what that term means to a majority. Of, of not a majority to millions of people from the descent of people who were forced to come here to do that said exact thing you guys right. came over here the, the the founders of rob town came over from mexico to do that not against your will you were like oh right. there's jobs let me come here and do this there were people who were beaten killed sold away all of this other stuff family separated for this exact job that you guys wanted to do you know what i'm saying um so that's why that's why robstown high school um people mad <laughs> yeah people mad about the name um, like i wouldn't that, that's all i can say. it's 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 weird right because you could be like the farmers or some shit you know what I mean? Harvesters or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, there's a there's a better way. Yeah, that's a better way. Scarecrows. <laughs> Scarecrows. <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> it's, it's better. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at the meter for sticking to their shit. But I mean, you gotta understand that this word is going to offend someone. And if you if you see someone in that gym visibly upset, you have to know why. You have to. Like you've been around for 110 fucking years. You have to know somebody is gonna be pretty fucking pissed when they walk inside this gym and see that big ass cotton plant on the wall with, with cotton pickles under it. Somebody's gonna have an issue with that shit. Yeah, I think I just I'm wanna lost. shout out all the schools. <laughs> All the schools that go there and play, I want to shout out their life coaches, their their counselors, because the restraint <laughs> that these children have, bro, walking at and not Ooh. just fight on sight. <laughs> like Nuck, if your buck, if Nuck, if your buck does not come on in your head when you walk into that gym, like I, <laughs> it, it'll be malice in the palace. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You thought Ron Artest and Jermaine O'Neal went off. <laughs> And y'all can't have y'all own refs. Not in this motherfucker, no. We, we talking metal world peace yeah. level of violence. Yeah. Oh, y'all can't have y'all own refs in here. Right? <laughs> yeah. Miss Lily, no. <laughs> oh, it's my life. <laughs> and and, oh, and Pablo God. said it right. He was like, everywhere else. Like, everywhere else that's bad. Like, now, do you do you have to look at them and be like, are, are we the weird? Like, are they weird for not wanting to change it? Like, do we look at them and be like, y'all? No, because they probably they probably they probably feel like we're from here. We understand the history here. We're proud of our history here. This is what it is. That's that's exactly what they're telling you. It's like we're not changing this shit because we love we love our town. We we grew up here, we've we've invested into the culture here, 
and we're not going to change what we invested in. That's what they're telling everybody. Y'all fucked up for being mad at us for being proud of who we are. That's exactly what they're saying. My thing is like, is there a way? Like, you don't have to change it if you don't want Rob's town. Is there a way for you to capture the pride in how your town was was founded? Like uh, Taylor said in the comments, like there's gotta be another way to, to show pride in founding that town and all of that stuff. Nobody's saying erase your heritage, erase right. your history. Is there a better way that you can you can do that? You know, other than cotton pickers. Yeah. And if you thought about it and you can't, and cotton pickers is it for you, cool. But don't be mad when the rest of the world like because it, it's exactly like Mormon, right? They they deal in pollution, yeah. right? That's that's what they about. The rest of the world looking at them like fam you out here with like four wives and, and all that stuff it's looked down upon by other people right but to them it's cool and if it's cool for them and all five of them are, are cool with their arrangements who am i to butt in right po polygamy whatever if that's if y'all cool y'all cool i don't need to butt in exactly. and try to tell y'all how to live but it's it's i don't know yeah that's what we're saying they can legit be called the harvesters yeah, like the back the holes. <laughs> harvesters, like harvester, I don't see nothing bad with that. Yeah, exactly, I really don't. I don't. I, car, the cotton harvesters, you know, it, it's it's exactly what y'all did. You harvest the cotton. Are you harvest? Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. It's 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 a weird thing. Um, I'm surprised they've been around since that long. And, and this article is actually from December 31st, 2020, the football one. This basketball one is, wow. is a recent one. Um, and the video was taken by a parent of the opposing team who sat in the gym and was just like <laughs> trying to this. act like he following the, fucking, he following the <laughs> yeah. game. And he was just like, look at this shit. Pick their pride on the wall. <laughs> And look at look this, at this look at this shit. logo in the back. Yep. <laughs> in his head. Somebody look at this shit. Somebody come look at this shit. <laughs> in all my years. In all my years. Um, I'll never say it. But uh let's get into the last topic I want to talk about. Um so Netflix, obviously, plenty of content on there something on there for everybody um I, I that is one streaming service i don't think i will ever cancel uh netflix um, i tried and i don't think i will either it's always something on there man just always they always yeah. got something on there that i'm just like i gotta i gotta check this out um so like they're very popular for their documentaries right obviously tiger king blew up over the pandemic um they got a whole lot of murder things on there that 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 true crime stuff but lately a lot of their things have been about gullible people falling for the stupidest scam oh, let me stop a lot of victims that have been uh taken advantage of by horrible people uh who fall under what I would like to say, and when Deontay comes back, he'll probably appreciate this. The genjitsu is still strong out here. People are falling for the genjitsu of, hey, I'm a rich person. Come fuck with me. Or everything's going to work out. Just keep giving me money. And they just they just keep giving me money. The one I want to talk about most recently um, is called Bad Vegan, right? I don't know if you guys checked it out or read about it real quick. Um, it's about a woman. Um, I should have brought her name up, but this woman, she goes to business school, gets a job at, at the stockbrokers and stuff doing great. She's not really feeling it. Uh, her love is cooking. Uh, she likes to cook. She's great at it. Uh, goes to New York. Um, marries a popular chef out there. They open a restaurant that is hit everybody needs to go there uh, she specializes in in, in vegan um, so oh. everything is vegan 
organic, all of that stuff. So all of Hollywood, obviously, is just like, oh, shit, let's all go eat here. So, you know, Owen Wilson coming through there, Tom Hanks, they're talking about all the people coming through. It's on the news. Manhattan's newest spot, everybody hangs, you know, so they're living the dream. Her and her husband break up, you know, they go their separate ways. Um, Alec Baldwin shows up. Alec Baldwin's Sarma. Yes, Sarma is her name. Alec Baldwin shows up, starts flirting with her. He's tweeting, putting the restaurant on, on blast. Like, he's just like, when you come to Manhattan, come here. Food is great. And also, the head chef is, is, is easy on the eyes, too. And he's flirting with her on Twitter. And she's like, I just got out of a relationship. I ain't with that. All this other stuff. So, Alec, she passes. Alec Baldwin ends up finding another woman. You know, they, they have dinner. They, you know, and then here they are today, husband and wife, right? So she's just yeah. like in her interview, she's just like, you know, I think back of, of what I could have had if I gave Alec a chance, but blah, 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 whatever. So she passes up on that. She adopts a dog. She gets super lonely. She sees some dude who's tagging Adam or Adam, Alec Baldwin in a lot of tweets. And Alec is going back and forth with this dude in a, in a, in a humor, humorous way. Um, so then he hits her up. The dude going back and forth. I think his name is like Steve or whatever his said his name was. Um, and she's like, okay, I'll give him a chance. He shows up, doesn't look like he does in his pictures or whatnot, but she's just like, I'll give him a chance. He's a catfish. Um, not not totally cat like he he was just not as he wasn't like super fat, but he he put on more weight than he was in the picture. But she was just like, mm -hmm. you know. Here I am, this small woman trying to do this. Here's this big man coming to, you know, protect me and all this other stuff. So gives him a shot. So they date and they're exclusive for a while. She's making money from this restaurant. He is, he's telling her that he is special ops. Like he goes away and does things, makes bad guys go away and comes back and all of this stuff. Long story short, this man ends up feeding her information like, I've been looking for you for all my lifetimes and I finally found my true queen and all this stuff. And she's just like, you keep talking like you're immortal, like you've been around. And he keeps telling her, he doesn't say I am, but he does not say he's not. And he keeps feeding her lines to the point where she thinks, shit, maybe this dude is able to make me immortal. And he was like, I'll make your dog immortal too. And that's what sold her. She was like, all right, I'm all in now. Say less. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, me being immortal i don't know i can make your dog immortal too shit where do i sign you know <laughs> that's her mindset um and and this is real he, he goes away right he keeps taking these trips because he keeps telling her boom all right so you're with me now cool you got to give all your your passwords and everything your account information to my it dude because he keeps everything super encrypted because I can't have the wrong people, the bad guys find out where this, cause they'll probably come after you to get to me to, you know, all this other stuff, like the Spider-Man uh, shit, like, you know, like, you know, uh, um, so she gives all her sign in information to some dude, right. Who claims to be his IT person. So passwords, all of that stuff, access to her money, all that stuff, right. To keep encrypted so nobody can steal from them. Oh, um, shh. Bro. Throughout their relationship, he's just like, can you I'm wire bothered. me this much money? Can you wire me this much money? I'm out here. I need this money. This is all part of the test. If you start, if you go back and you, you start, you know, if you don't have faith in me, this process isn't going to work and you're never going to be able to ascend to the throne to be my queen. And she's like, what? I, I don't want that. Here's 45,000. Here's 150,000. Here's 10,000. Here's 12. Like through over, over the span of what was it in the span of two years, she's, she wired that man $1.5 million, $1.5 million. Restaurant starts going under employees ain't getting their money because her money is being sent to old boy and they're going on trips and all this other shit, right? The employees go on strike. The people who invested in her restaurant are like, are you going to pay us the money back? Because you owe us like 800000 Like 
the one she owed, one of the investors put 800,000 into her thing and got nothing back. Other ones less. Um <laughs> bro, it is it 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 turned out they were so in debt. They're just like we got to hit the road and they just <laughs> went and lived in a hotel in Vegas for 4 months or like for like 10 months. Then they hit the road and lived in a, a small town in Tennessee right out or I think it's Tennessee, Ain't wherever no Dollywood way. is. They were, they were in a yeah. comfort inn outside of Dollywood or some shit, eating Chipotle. And that, that's where the cops found them at, rolled up on them, and and that was that. But hustled. Turns out, plot twist, the guy wasn't special ops. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Go figure, right? Yeah, the guy, the guy wasn't special ops. <laughs> so he just hustled her out of all this money. She what was that? To what's that? Uh, what's that show? Was to Marcus Rikers. told us to watch. Which one? What was that show? Tinder Swindler. Yeah, he. It's, it's just like that. Did you watch that? that that's just. Did you yeah, watch I watched that? it. Yeah. Oh my god. It happened almost just like this. No, Tinder Swindler oh. was different. That motherfucker, that motherfucker was showed up showing her the life. Like he, he yeah. showed up. <laughs> that motherfucker was a G. Oh, I can't even be mad at him. All of this stuff. Look, my 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 baby mom here. We on good terms. You can ride in the car with her. She can tell you how good I am. I'm a nice dude. Ponzi scheme the coochie, bro. Like he was taking money from one and like showing the other one the life. And then getting money from her, moving on to the next chick, showing her the life. Like this motherfucker was like an elevator of money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't even be mad at him. I couldn't the even racket. be mad at him. He had that same save video of his homeboy getting stitches and shit. Kept sending it to everybody. The enemy. My enemies are after me. <laughs> my enemies are after me. Like that's all he kept telling people. And these women were just like, I gotta protect him from his enemies. He was oh like, bro. And he's not even. He's not even going like this dude and bad vegan. The chick he was going after was rich already. So she had the money. He was making yeah. these women take out loans that they could not pay back. Maxing out cards. Amex Platinum cards. Can you increase the limit on this? I can't because they know I only make this one. Here, I'll send you a fake pay stub saying that you work for my diamond company and they'll increase your limit. And he would, he, this man had forged documents ready. Women would be like, yo, are you going to pay me back? Because these banks is looking for these 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 loan payments. And he would send them a check that would look official as fuck. And it wouldn't go through and say, like, oh, the check's not going through. I don't know what you want me to do. I sent you the money. Like, just tell your bank to, to, to I don't know. Just to, bro. <laughs> bro. Just bro. all through bro, Europe. Bro was, all through bro Europe, bro. Shit. He was all legit. Ooh. He had what happened to sick. Peter? He had the enemies. They sick. tried to stab me, and Peter came out and I need money. Uh, my my account to say I can't use my credit card because they're tracking my location based on that. I need you to send me money so I can fly my team and I'll pay you back. And these women were buying it, bro, buying it. He was doing no question. He was doing this for years because they went back. He was doing it in Israel before he came over to Europe. He was doing it under different names. He was, bro. Bro, so here, here's my question, and and I know I don't want to say that it's just gullible white women out here, but Netflix is making a killing <laughs> telling the stories of gullible white women out here. Facts. I need Facts. to see, I need to see one about a sister who got who got scammed because I'm pretty sure oh, they man. can't do that because once 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 a black woman's like. Oh, you take it like it probably wouldn't even be a going? long thing. It'd be or like, you babe, send me ten thousand dollars. Fuck, I'm gonna get ten thousand dollars from. I just met <laughs> you. What? Like, you better figure yeah, something out what? on yourself. <laughs> you rich as fuck. Call your daddy. <laughs> Call your daddy. Your daddy can help you out. I ain't got. I Call ain't got. No other bitches. <laughs> no, this is before. Like, this is like she don't know there's other girls. Like, it's you just can't ask a black woman that you just met two days ago. You know what I'm saying? Babe, babe, that kind of let me money. get, babe, let me get like $45,000. I'm stuck. 
you just gonna be stuck then because I ain't got it. <laughs> Put it on FaceTime. Ooh. Let me see who in there with you. Who in there with mm -hmm. you? <laughs> Turn around, spin around like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> who is, like who when, I send, fight? when I send a FaceTime, answer it immediately and show the show the room like that. Don't 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 wait to accept my FaceTime. Don't move, you don't yep. just hide somewhere. Yep. Mm -hmm. I send it, you better answer fast or it's over. <laughs> Hide on the bed. Bro, I can't even ask my wife for that kind of money, bro. I could be TDY, babe. Send me. She's going to be like, nope. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. What the fuck? I can't. We saw we that house. You know what the first thing that happened? All the money went to the other account. I ain't, I ain't even touch it. God nope. damn. That shit's, like, already, babe, let that me shit's get, already come. Babe, let me get about 10000 to go truck shopping. Uh, no. Excuse you? <laughs> uh, no. Was, one woman was like, I'm staying with my parents. I'm saving up to get my own place. But I sent him all my savings because he was in trouble. This woman went on one trip with him in the summer, spending the money from the first girl that he swindled. Going, across, going to whatever those islands in Greece were, where everybody be hanging out and partying and stuff, like just gallivanting the continent of Europe on the first victim's dime. And then when she's tapped out, he's like, whoop, on to the next one. Oh, uh, the enemies, my enemies are after me. I need money. And just get a card, get a card in your name and, and allow me to use it. And and they're just like, okay, you're such I a great friend. Out. I'll help you out. It's like, what makes it worse, the first one, he was smashing. The second one, he wasn't smashing. She was just like, he's a really good friend. Like, because he wanted to smash it. She was like, eh, pause. Nope, you ain't smashing. We can Free be zone. friends, though. He's like, all right, cool. Cool, I can but work with that. to swindle, to swindle the friend zone, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah, I ain't like even after like, that. That ain't even what I'm after. You'll help me out regardless. <laughs> You help me out regardless. I got trim at the money. house. I don't. I don't really need. It. Just give me a. Guy. Take the other <laughs> one that I'm smashing. <laughs> and then uh, everybody's talking about this other one. Was it Project Anna or whatnot? I think that's the one. And, oh, investing Anna. I haven't seen yeah. that one either. But I heard. I heard that inventing one. Inventing Anna. Inventing Anna. Yeah, inventing Anna. I gotta watch that one too. But I'm just like, how? How are people? falling for this shit how how are people falling for this shit like i want to feel bad for these women but i'm laughing the whole time bro <laughs> bro me and my wife me and my wife cutting the fuck up at their misery and in, in, in turmoil <laughs> <laughs> i'm sitting there like do they have an ig so i can hit them up and see what the fuck their life is like now you know <laughs> only one of them does She's just Ooh. doing speaking engagements, trying to tell people to be careful for uh Scammers. for con people. Ooh. Yeah. But I'm just like, when does the red light come on? The first time you loan him ten thousand and he doesn't pay you back and no, because it didn't come on then. Right? Oh. It didn't come like it should yeah, come on when he asked you for ten thousand. No, here's where I'm at. The first one he did that too. Like he he proposed and all that stuff, right? They were engaged in her eyes, right? Your fiance is in trouble. He needs ten thousand. You know the lifestyle he has. You've seen the, so you're just like, all right, I'll send you the ten thousand. Cause you you've seen how he lived. So in your mind you're like, this is nothing to him. He'll pay me back. Private jets, you know he flying, flying me over for a night in in fucking Oslo. You know he was supposed to be here. He private jet. Er, I love you, baby. Let's give you know. So ten thousand, I'll give you that, girl. I'll give you that little bit of naivety. You're like, sure, he'll get me back. So ten thousand goes away. He won't. Then he hits you back up. Baby, baby, I need, I need twenty thousand. What happened to the ten thousand? <laughs> First question. I hear you. Um, what happened to the ten thousand? Huh? No, huh? You heard me. Where the ten thousand? You ain't even give me that uh, money back. So until you give me ten thousand yeah. back, uh, you can't get twenty five thousand. I'm <laughs> like, losing service. Is, <laughs> yeah. But my enemies. I'm my enemies. 
Bro, I'm losing service Beyonce, on the mountains. <laughs> you have to, the way this man would be like my enemy. He made it sound like Cobra my, Commander and Deathstroke and a, were after this my, motherfucker, bro. And a, <laughs> it like me, my and a, me, baby, my enemies. They're like he say enemies, enemies, and then the girls would be like, "Fuck it, I'm signing the check." Gotta help yeah. him. Gotta help Where's him. Where's the money he, I loaned you last time? Where's the money? He's with Cobra made? Kai. Enemies. <laughs> the Cobra Kai is looking for him. <laughs> this man say the word enemy. The Jabari <laughs> tribe. They have me. I need your help. <laughs> the Jabari. <laughs> no, he sound like Drake. I got enemies. Got a lot of enemies. Got a lot of enemies. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to make a (laughs) way. Yo, that's wild. It was like it was like they were under hypnosis. And the key word to make them do whatever the fuck you wanted to do was to say enemies. Enemies. Because like they they would they would be they would be like, I don't know. The banks are looking. I got people calling me, babe. The enemies. All right, here's forty five thousand. All right, <laughs> enemies. I cave. Enemies. Oh, I'm gonna try that when and I get in the house. On the count of three, babe. anytime I say enemies, you will agree with my request. I need one, two, three. Babe, my enemies I are after me. <laughs> I need these Yeezy Red Octobers. Red. They're 2300 2300 on StockX. What? You gotta get them for my, my enemies. enemies. My enemies. <laughs> Why didn't you lead with that? <laughs> you oh, should have said new... something earlier. You want that new Chevy, Chevy Silverado too, huh? Yeah, my enemies. <laughs> hook, me up, hook it up. The enemies are scared of pickup trucks. I need the silver. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm going truck shopping this weekend. I'm going to bring her with me. My enemies. Look, I can run I can run away from them in this. I'm going to record it, too. They don't stand Man, a chance. My enemies are scared of red. The brighter the red, the more scared. I need the red. I need it. I need it. Whole outfit. Christian Dior. <laughs> So this man's out. His I ain't gonna lie, man. He he was he was clean. My man was clean oh, yeah. in these pictures. Oh yeah. Man. She funded that. <laughs> she the oh, funny that one is, chick, the one the chick at the end chick, got his ass. Yeah, she got yeah, his the ass. The last chick. Because the first two came together and they did the investigation. So now, like some newspaper in uh I think Finland was just pushing this thing out. It was a whole article and everything. And uh, social media was blowing up with it. So the girl he was currently with when the shit blew the fuck up, she saw it, sent it to him. Was just like, yo, what the fuck? And then, but she was on a flight. So she put her phone in airplane mode, took off, right? <laughs> motherfucker blew her ass up. So she landed. This motherfucker blowing her phone up. She <laughs> talking about she landed. <laughs> Maybe. Phone was going Maybe that's up. my enemy. That's my enemies. They're trying to make me look bad. My enemies. And she was like, nah, I ain't that shit. And she, was, mm-hmm. she was the first one to be like, man, fuck these enemies. <laughs> they can have you. She was like, I got the video shit. Was, I'm about to take all this was, shit. He was just like, it's the enemy. So on the plane she was looking at, she was like, oh, I got some for his ass. Because he started I'm asking for money, me. right? Oh, I need I need this. My enemy. She's like, I can't get it for you. He was like, oh, just sell your car. She was like, or, you know, or, I work in the fashion yeah. industry. I work in the fashion industry. Your wardrobe give me is all wet. This you can give me a yeah. couple of shirts and stuff. And I can I'm sell them. And get you he was like, bet, bet. All right, come through. And I'll, you know, I'll give you my wardrobe. And, you know, you can sell it and send the money. So she gets the wardrobe, goes back to wherever, flips it on eBay. And keeps it. Cap that bitch. Keep the money. Cap that bitch. Keep the money. Fuck you. So he's calling her like, he calling like, yo. So where's the money? And she ain't, she ain't responding. Like he's sending voice memos and everything. She ain't responding. And so now he want to try and put bass in his voice. Okay, okay. You want to play me, motherfucker? You want to play me? Okay, you get played. Remember, every action has reaction, motherfucker. I was, I was not, he trying to threaten her and shit. This dude's the skinniest, dorkiest looking motherfucker. Like, get the fuck out of here. No, she ain't even scared of you, bro. 
She ain't scared of you, bro. Get your ass out of here, Anwar. Move. So then he's like, get, get the fuck out of here. Please help me. I need money. Look, I'm out here. Like this dude, like when he wasn't getting money, he he was hitting. He was hitting. He was desperate, time, bro. He, he had yeah. He was ragged, desperate. Bro. He was hitting raggedy oh. ass beards and shit, trying to trying to guilt her. Look at me. I'm out here in a homeless shelter. I'm I'm here. I need the money. I can't. She was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> What's happening to you, bro? You about ten years into this shit. You need the you need this homeless shelter, motherfucker. Oh God. Bro, it was hilarious, man. And I, I'm still trying to. I'm I'm on Netflix. I'm sitting there searching on Google, like any like outside of the the hood stories, where like you know the dude be like, "Girl, you know I only love you, girl." And then he go like, "Like baby boy," you know. That's the only mm-hmm. that's the only uh, tender swindling I see from black people. It's like local shit. Like you know I'm good for you. Know I will get you back. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Let me drive your car you to get over get to the store. Yep, and you drive the car to your other girl house or something. That's only that. That's I, I've extent. seen, like, I've seen some pretty ratchet shit, but not not to that level. Like, if you watch the show, uh, it's not on Netflix, but it's called Put a Ring on It. Mm. So last season, last season, one of the dudes he used that shit to his absolute benefit. So he, of course, was a rapper. He was uh. <laughs> So if you don't know the premise of put a ring on it, so like they put couples into this therapy thing to where they date other people, right? So, and they, at the end of it, they try to figure out if they're going to get married or not, right? So that dude used that shit to his benefit. Like he had a whole nother apartment that he was taking the girl that they set him up on a date with. He was smashing that chick and everything. And then mm. uh, uh, his girl found out. Well, so they were they were going to get back together, but his uh, the girl he went on a date with told his girl like we were smashing, we were smashing. Y'all, North Carolina won their game. They going to the Elite Eight. I was watching oh, shit. The game while we was talking. Beat Multitasking, UCLA, baby. Let's get it. Oh, UC- I, now we play. Uh, we play St. Peter's now. That 15 seed yeah. that's going up. That's oh, buddy, everybody. you better you better pray Cinderella pick I, that goddamn slip up, stop. boy. <laughs> I know I just made that post like I'm here for their run, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> you better pray, I them boys. Y'all, hey, I see y'all little cute ass. I see your cute team over there, St. Peter's. I see y'all, <laughs> but that shit's dumb. <laughs> Olive oil on the forehead. Yeah. <laughs> this came out of that. <laughs> hey, just tell him, tell him, uh, tell North Carolina don't be playing no Archie before the game. They play that well, Archie, that, that's, bro. Well, that's the whole team. Nah, I think I don't know where uh, the Elite Eight is at. I think it's in the current, but bro, St. Peter's is, is a team full of cats from New Jersey and New York, bro. It's a small school. Oh, it's hell. Grimy oh. dudes on that. that yeah, they grimy. Like Hell like cats like hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> oh baby. Oh man. But um shit. I don't know where were we? Oh yeah, yeah. People people getting caught in the genjitsu. When is it gonna stop? Like at what point are people just gonna learn to be super hella suspicious when mm-hmm. when shit like that happens? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's hard to bro, ask me like, for $20. Bro, talk about it. Hey, man. <laughs> are you? Some people are giving. <laughs> Some people are giving. Uh, there's there's a ceiling to how much I will lend you the first time. Mm-hmm. Like, if I don't get that money back, you can never ask me again for shit. Forget about it. Facts. <laughs> unless unless Facts. I'm telling you out the gate. Unless I'm telling you out the gate, unless I'm telling you out the gate, bro, don't even worry about it. When people be like, I'll pay you back, don't worry about it. Because that at that point, I'm not expecting it back. But if you come to me, be like, bro, I need to get, I need to get like 250 to, to help me to pay day and I'll get you back. And I say, okay. That means I'm expecting it back. If you don't hear it, don't worry about it. I'm expecting that shit back. back. Yeah. I'm I'm on my I ain't giving back. you a deadline. I ain't giving you a deadline, but 
just know when I see I need, you. Every time I, I see back. you from here on out. Oh yes. Oh yes. You better not I'm be falling. You better not be. You better not be eating no goddamn crab legs. You better and, not be. And, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Crawfish. <laughs> you better not be putting that shit on Instagram, bitch. What my money at? <laughs> you better not check into no restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> Lost your tail. Check in at the theater to watch Batman. Oh, you got Batman money? Oh, oh, oh word. Yeah. Okay. okay. You eating popcorn with that shit too? <laughs> what? What? Yeah. What, what's that? What you get? <laughs> uh, I see your pockets now. I see them. <laughs> You came home with that big ass Harkins cup too. Fuck you. Where my money at, bro? Oh, he, oh, he drinking, drinking. You got the loyalty cup. You got the loyalty <laughs> cup. The Awards pro game. <laughs> Damn, you've been you've been there often, I huh? I can't. Bro. Mm-hmm. I can't. Just know every time Where? I see you, I'm gonna be like, "Where my money?" You know, I ain't gonna mm-hmm. hit you with the Stewie shit, but. You like the handshakes is going. The handshakes is going to be a little stiffer. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it ain't going to be the the handshake into the hug shit. It'll just be you start getting these head nods. Like, bro, shit, shit's getting you. You mighty cash sus out. right now. You better cash out. <laughs> you better cash out. <laughs> oh my god, bro, I can't. I can't. Like I said, until I get that shit back, I can't give you no more money. And these chicks was just like. Uh, I don't know. I got like eight creditors. My enemies. Okay, fuck it. I'll just take another loan out. Side note, what do these credit banks and shit in Europe be like? Because I swear to God, when my credit was bad, nobody was looking for me. Mm-hmm. Like, like they're just like, oh, you owe. You have a you have a car repossession on your record. Get the fuck out of here. They over there in Europe, like. So you took a loan from this bank, this bank, this bank, and this bank, and you maxed out eight credit cards. We'll give you forty five thousand, bro. I'm, we need Man. to move to Europe for real. No. All I'm gonna say is, if 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 one of the pit masters out there, like if you are into that type of activity, here's what I need you to do. All right, I need y'all to find them, right? Secure the bag. Let us get some of it, and we'll hit you back. How about that? Mm-hmm. I'm with that. I am not paying you back. <laughs> I don't even well, loan me that much money. You that. You don't even loan me that much money. Don't even loan me that much. I don't even want to be in that. You talking about this black? Remember the uh, old girl that that Cardi B is suing for like? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're you're right. I, I recant. I recant. I'm gonna be. You gonna have me up in court crying. I, re- I recant. I recant my my what request. More? What I gave more my life to God. <laughs> yeah, I recant. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's that's a bad idea. Don't listen to me. I heard you won your settlement. Congratulations. <laughs> What more do you want from me? <laughs> ah. Oh just my like, god. I'm just, just gonna be like, get this bitch ass up out of here. <laughs> get this bitch ass up out this goddamn court. I'm what sure. is you crying for? <laughs> like Deontay. Deontay, imagine that. Um, imagine you're one of these people like 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 you know you pirated a movie or something you're just like uh i watched this and then universal finds out oh you pirated my movie huh i'm suing you for that and for the amount of people who have seated the thing and all that other stuff and the judge is just like all right you know universal's right and Deontay the giant i find you <laughs> find you guilty and you will owe universal studios Seven point eight million dollars, and you sitting there in the courtroom. <laughs> yeah. ah. I got it. Oh, my freedom! My freedom! <laughs> <laughs> my hair is getting nappy quick. Uh, 
Yes. My hair would get nappy so quick, and then my clothes would be tattered. He said my hair get nappy. I'm free. <laughs> I got to escape. Taylor said she get a little bit of extra money from finance, and she look at it like, "Where the fuck my pay stub? Let me see." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, boy, because they gonna want that shit back quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hold next payday, what's, what's this money for? Mm-hmm. What's this money uh, for? Take, well, what's uh, this? Take on. this out. Take this out. Yeah, I don't man. need it. We'll take it out your check. <laughs> we'll take it. Quit playing with us. Man. I would. I'd be like, lock me up. You old <laughs> yeah. four minute, Like the audacity to look me in my face, Your Honor, with the job straight I straight face and tell straight me face. somebody and tell I will broke. You want to see law by citizen type shit? Ooh. You gonna put me in isolation? <laughs> <laughs> You gonna put me in isolation? I Straight know. face, too. Lock me up. Lock be a me whole up. Bunch of us on the yard. I don't care if I go to jail. <laughs> Please. I ain't scared to go to jail. Please. <laughs> and thank you. What's that shit from? Uh, uh, don't be a menace. Don't be a menace. Yeah. <laughs> Lock me up in the courtroom. Oh, click, click. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't scared to go to jail. <laughs> He's like, bro, like, square bro, you just lock me up now. You bro, I've been alive for 40 something years. It ain't even close to a million. Yep. And I only got X amount of years left. Where you getting this for? Where you getting this seven million from, Universal? Just lock me up. <laughs> for real. <laughs> what are my one other person? Options, <laughs> I would have goddamn movie gonna flop anyway. <laughs> I would accept and getting shot. Take me to jail. I seen the movie. The movie sucks. <laughs> I'm just fucking. I'm a hire a hitman for me. Like, I'm a hire a hitman can't... for me. <laughs> like you gotta shoot me. Do what you, you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> do your job. Do your job. You Make know. it fast. <laughs> this is the one occasion I, I accept police bro. brutality. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me. Stomp me. <laughs> nice. <day. laughs> Taze. Hey, yo. Hey, can I request Derek Chauvin to be my uh, my officer? To- oh, <laughs> my God. You know what to do, Derek? <laughs> Get, you know what to do, Derek? Neck. Right here. I'm, I'm right playing. here. Right. That's, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> bro. But how do you look at a normal person and tell them they owe millions like that, bro? Millions. Like who is they talking? Like when I signed the mortgage in my house, I was just like, "Lord Jesus, man, you go, hey, uh, this. <laughs> I'm on the hook to pay you back." What, Lord Jesus? Please don't let this real estate drop. Oh, don't, don't go out house shopping house now, drop. Lord Jesus. No, no, That's why I'm waiting now. That's why I started renting. I was like, "I'm gonna rent to this house. I know this house market gonna dip. I'm gonna rent a house. Yeah. So I ain't paying that much money, but shit, I look at rent and I'm like, <laughs> damn." <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But anyway, yeah, that, that's a that, <laughs> that's our topics and shit. Um we have reached a part of the show where it's final shots and thoughts. So uh I'm gonna start it with uh Deontay, man. What you wanna tell uh, the people, you know, you know, kind of put 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 your show out there, let them know where they can find you at and all that good stuff, man. Yes, indeed. Uh, I appreciate you guys for having me out, man. Um, it was great topics, great show. Uh, good seeing you again, Black Mac. Thank um, you, thank you. So Saturday Night Nerds podcast will be back of uh, April 9th for episode four. Uh, stay tuned for the announcement. We'll have all the topics and all that lined up coming out this weekend. Uh, we also got new episodes on apple Podcasts and uh spotify so you guys want to go and listen or if you want to see the live stream we're over on youtube and you you can see the whole show that way whatever floats your boat or finds your lost remote and uh (laughs) right there is the saturday night nerds group uh you can find us at www.facebook.com slash saturday night nerds snn and uh we also got some links within the group that's been posted as well if you have trouble finding it or you can just holler at me and i'll, I'll hook it hook you right up too so 
uh, we, we got about four 400 plus members now and we don't mind like reaching that five and six seven uh, we thank everybody <laughs> that's been with us <laughs> show them some love man show them some love Yes, sir. Y'all rocked with us from the start, and on and the people that rocking with us on the way forward, man, I appreciate y'all. Uh, and stay nerdy, stay blessed. Absolutely, man. man. Absolutely. All right, man. Hey, appreciate you jumping in here, man. Helping me out. Uh, I know Black was busy, man. Um, it's hard to do this show by myself, man. I always like the back and forth, man. I think that's what make the show good, man. Um, yep. So yeah, I'll vouch Saturday Night Nerds good stuff, man. Him and him and uh, Will, same vibe. Me and Black got man, good times. They cut up, yep. talk about some fun shit. So uh, make sure to check them out, bro. Again, man, appreciate you, Deontay. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. All right, man. Be easy, bro. All right, Black, what you got for him, man? All right, man. Um, first of all. Thank you for uh, keeping the show going. Um, even though I saw, even though I saw Straw Hat Poppy, Deontay the Giant in here, like I was up in there like trying to be a fan, but I was like, "Fuck this! I'm gonna be a part of the show." So <laughs> <laughs> I got to taste it. I was like, "I got, I gotta get, I gotta get downstairs. I gotta find some shit." But uh, big thank you to uh, to Deontay. Shout out to the Saturday Night Nerds um for all they do uh again if y'all haven't joined them man go join them because that is a really good group really good podcast uh really good people um for next week obviously i won't be here um i'm moving into my house next weekend uh plus i'm actually going to be on assignment um which is a big thing for the No Gimmicks podcast. So I'm going to be at WrestleMania next weekend. Um, and I'll be interacting with a whole bunch of people. So uh, that'll be that'll be really cool. Really cool thing for the No Gimmicks podcast. So um, we'll be heading up some things on that end too. Um, for the people that are still here, here's what I need you to do for me. Um if you have an extra browser, go to the extra browser, open up a new window or whatever you want to do, or just write this down. Uh, go to the DFPN.com. If you don't know what I'm saying, I'll put this up for you for those that are still watching. So go to the DFPN.com. And what I'm going to announce on tonight's show which is highly important while I was here. Um, we have <laughs> we have launched uh, our website. Um, it, we, there's still a few things that we're going to be going over, um, working out, getting the kinks sorted out that way. But the website as it is now uh, is you can go to ddfpn.com. All of our podcasts will be on there. Um, We'll, we will eventually be moving our live streaming over to ddfpn.com. Um, I figured out the embed thing, which is uh, which is something that was huge for the live streaming. So I figured out the embed coding and I got that set up. So uh, we will be moving to our own platform. Uh, that means absolutely nothing for the Smoke Pit Podcast fan group. That will still be, be a thing. Um, but to follow all things DFPN, uh, all of our content will eventually move to our own website where we can make our own rules and do our own thing and, you know, interact with the people the way we want to interact with them. So eventually this is going to morph itself. This is phase one of, uh, our 2022 plan. So phase one was the website. Phase two will probably come later this year in the form of an app and uh, a Roku slash Fire Stick uh, streaming service. So this is where we're moving to. Um, again, I have no one other to thank than all of the pit masters, everybody that's followed DFPN. You guys made this uh, what it's what it is. Um, 
to our Patreon subscribers. You guys were absolutely critical in making this happen. Um, you guys, from your support, uh, getting it together, y'all don't know how much y'all did for us with that um, and just getting this thing off the ground. But it, today is a it's, a it's a monumental day for uh, the DFPN. So thank you to each and every last one of you who have made this happen. Um, again, having our own platform and and being able to do these types of things, uh, you'll still get to see us. You'll probably even see more of us. Um, but that opens up the door for a lot more things to happen um, for us as the DFPN. So I really do appreciate each and every last one of you um, to Mac, a.k.a. your boy. Uh, you know where we were with this shit a couple years ago, man. So to see see a website um, work its way into fruition, man. Um, thank you for your grind. Thank you for your vision. Um, thank you for all your hard work, man. Like you are a major part of why this is happening. So thank you. That's my final thoughts. Bro, I'm saying I was like, man, we could probably get this under two hours. And you went on this soliloquy and stuff. <laughs> In your feelings and everything, it's all good. It's all good because my bad, my bad. It's it, it's stuff that we wanted them to know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, we can't stress how important uh, you guys are. Um, not only here at the Smoke Pit, but uh, the fans of No Gimmick Podcast, the fans of Real Food, the fans of uh, Breaking Down the Classics of the Salute. Uh, anybody, if if you're a fan of any of the shows in the DFPN, man, like all of you guys contributed to this. We really do appreciate it. Uh, of course, big shout outs to uh, the, the pit masters and stuff. Y'all are, are the more active of, of the group, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to take love or take any shine from from the, the other supporters of the other shows, too. They, they chip in as well. So um, Black said it all, man. We're, we're trying to make some moves. Um, you know, it's, it's scary at times because we're investing a lot of money into this stuff uh, without getting the, the return back. It's like we're Tinder swindling ourselves, but um, <laughs> we know we know in the end, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. In the end, it's gonna be worth it, and uh, it's gonna be a, a, a dope thing uh, when this all comes together into fruition. So, um, I'm excited for it. You know, I'm always yep. ready to make that next move, man. Let's just keep growing it and keep making the brand better, bro. Um, and then a uh, quick last thing before we bounce. Uh, if you guys see the shirt, I'm into the wine, not the label. Uh, told you I just finished watching <laughs> Shit's Creek uh, a couple weeks ago, rewatching it now with my wife. Uh, this quote was from one of the characters in there who was trying uh, to describe to somebody uh, their sexual orientation because uh, they started out with, um, I like red wine. And he's like, I like red wine too. She's like, but I only like red wine. And uh, up until yeah. a certain point, I thought only you like red wine. And he was like, oh, I see what you're doing no i like red wine i also have white wine and i like an occasional chardonnay and this and that and then she and then she was just like oh shit he was like so i like the wine and not the label so that's where this this quote comes from so people who do know that show when i posted a picture of me in the shirt joke like am i coming out you know um <laughs> <laughs> right obviously uh you know 20 years in i love my wife you know that's where that's at um but this was more of a statement to try to tell people to just you know it's okay to be friends and, and to 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 talk and and know people um mm -hmm. for themselves you know, get to know people mm -hmm. for them and not so much their label you know what i'm saying that that the public tries to give them so uh, that's the message that the shirt was about and you know talking about the first topic with uh, leah thompson leah thomas you know i thought it was important to get that out you know now people may agree or, or not agree but that's fine but um i think that's a stance i think everybody can can get behind just treat everybody like you would want to be treated kind of thing so that's where that's at you know just be decent people out there bro that's all we asking over here um yeah. Outside of that, we'll go ahead and wrap this up because it sounds like somebody trying to have a party outside of your laundry room, my dude. Bro, they going crazy right now. 
<laughs> but, uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and sign us out, bro. <laughs> Yo, for episode seventy-three of the Smoke Pit, I am bred like a king. Made us Kelvin Kaylee. That is Mac, aka your boy. Hey, until next time, y'all have love. Make sex. Peace. Y'all be careful. Y'all be careful, man. Peace. It's been a long week. Come relaxing. Get some lapsing. And let's talk about these brackets. And while we at it, tell me whose man's is this? Because I got questions. I'm hoping you can answer it. Get ready, because you know we gon' going to talk a lot of shit. It's Mac and Mac. Welcome to the smoke pit. <laughs>